Hello students, I welcome you all. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a general principle or phenomenon of the science that is the diffusion. Diffusion can be seen in the everyday life, uh, like there are many examples which can be found around us. But particularly in this video, we will discuss that how the diffusion have a significance for the plants. For the life, for the completion of life cycle of plants or for the uh, various physiological functions that, that are associated in the plants. In that uh, processes, this principle, the diffusion, how that helps that we will study in this video. So firstly, I will discuss that what is simply a diffusion. Then we will come to the significance of diffusion in the plants. So what is diffusion? The diffusion is the movement of anything from their higher concentration, from the region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration. Any of the particle, any of the molecule in any state, solid, liquid, or gas, that is not restricted to the solvent particle or that should be a liquid. No, that could be anything, a solid, liquid, or a gas, uh, or might be a solute. So movement of that particle from the region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration. The area where the particles are having low concentration and the area where the particles are having high concentration, the particles will move automatically to the low area. So this is the movement from high concentration to low concentration and it is with the concentration gradient. It is not against the concentration gradient like something is being uh, transporting from their low concentration to the higher concentration. That is not like that. So from high concentration to low concentration, it is passive process. Since it is with the concentration gradient, so the molecules will start going uh, that side on the lower concentration automatically. There are two things involved in this particular diffusion thing. One is the kinetic energy of particles itself. The exerting particles or the moving particles which are moving from their higher concentration to lower concentration move by virtue of their kinetic energy, by the virtue of their own kinetic energy. Second thing with the concentration gradient, if there will be no concentration gradient, so the moment will not be there. What is concentration gradient? Concentration gradient is the difference in concentrations of two area. Which two area? One is the high concentration area, another is the low concentration area. So whatever be the difference between the, those two is called the concentration difference or the concentration gradient. Suppose this is a system this is area one having high concentration of any particle. This is area two having low concentration of any particle. So this change in concentration, suppose there the concentration is 100 mole and there the concentration is 60 mole. So this change in concentration or the difference, 40 moles difference is the concentration gradient. Higher the concentration gradient, more will be the diffusion. As much as the concentration gradient, as much will be the diffusion. So two things. The diffusion is dependent upon the two things. One is the kinetic energy, another is the concentration gradient. So diffusion is the direct movement of any substance or any particle, solid, liquid, or gas from an area of their higher concentration to the area of their lower concentration by virtue of their kinetic energy of diffusing particles and concentration gradient. It is a passive process I have discussed and biologically it have many significances and it will be called, it, we will say that no ATPs are required. In the biological system, the energy currency is ATP. Whenever we are expendituring the direct energy, there the process are active process and the ATPs are involved. But when the organism itself does not expendituring any kind of the energy, the process is said passive. Here the energy is involved, although the energy is involved in the form of kinetic energy, but that is not from the living organism. That's why it is a passive process. One thing is also there, the diffusing particles. So these particles which are undergoing the diffusion are simply the diffusing particles. More the diffusing particles, more will be the diffusion. A pressure which is exerted by the diffusing particles. When, if there is a diffusion occurring, suppose these particles are moving there, this occurring the diffusion. So these particles exerts a pressure to undergo the phenomena of diffusion. That pressure is called diffusion pressure. Very simply, the pressure which is exerted by the diffusing particles or the pressure exerted by the diffusion process. So that is called diffusion pressure. More the diffusing particles, as much as the number of diffusing particles, more will be the rate of diffusion and more will be the diffusion pressure. As much as the number of diffusing particles, as much as the diffusion pressure and as much as the diffusion ultimately. Second thing, in terms of the concentration gradient, as much as the concentration gradient, 
means if there is a lot of difference suppose uh, one concentration of substrate is 200 mol and another is 20 mol so from 200 to 20 the particles will start moving along the concentration gradient and very fast because high number of molecules are available to diffuse means diffusing particles are too much so that's why the velocity or the rate of diffusion will also be high and so that the diffusion pressure so if the concentration gradient is higher so that the rate of diffusion is higher rate of diffusion will be also higher so these are some important terms that what is kinetic energy what are the concentration gradient as well as the uh, diffusion pressure these are some examples that can be seen uh, diffusion as a everyday phenomena so diffusion can be from any state to any state solid liquid and gas and interstate also solid can diffuse into liquid solid can diffuse into solid itself liquid itself as well as the gas similarly liquid can diffuse into gas liquid itself as well as the solid a gas can diffuse into solid liquid or gas so there may be nine probabilities according to the their state solid liquid or gas there are uh, some other kind of diffusion also uh, in the colloidal particles especially like imbibition so these states solid liquid and gas and they can diffuse uh, interstate means among all the three states so diffusion of ammonia into air it means a gas is diffusing been into the air so it is the diffusion of gas into gas form formation when the form forms the gas when diffuses into the liquid the forms form gas into liquid similarly clouds when liquid diffuse into the gas water in wine liquid into liquid so there are many examples dissolving koh in the sugar or potassium permanganate in the uh, liquid solution smoke deodorant spray whenever we spray a deodorant the liquid condensed gas inside the deodorant diffuses into the air food cooking smell whenever we cook something so at a high temperature means while cooking the temperature is high at high temperature the diffusion is faster that's why uh, the cold things are not get order very fast but the uh, but the hot things generally the hotter things whenever we cook the hotter things generally spray uh, um, spread their order very fast order of the flowers this is the significance in the plants or this is the example from the plants during the pollination the pollinators are attracted by the different things like petals color as well as the different inflorescence type or special inflorescence type or order of the flowers okay so the order of flower also attract the pollinators that order is spreaded by the diffusion any kind of the chemical which is having a good order that is diffusing inside the outside the environment kmno4 in water so these are some examples a very uh, common example uh, agarbatti is also there during the burning of agarbatti some particles which are uh, kept inside the agarbatti or which are inside the agarbatti they are diffused in the air that's why we got a good fragrance so that is also an example of the diffusion So diffusion pressure, as I have already explained, diffusion pressure is simply a ability of particles to diffuse. The moving particles, the particles having higher concentration in a particular area, they are willing to diffuse and they will diffuse to their lower concentration area. So the capacity by which they can diffuse or the pressure that they will exert upon their diffusion is called diffusion pressure. It is directly proportional to the concentration gradient that I have discussed because as much as the concentration gradient, there will be more diffusion pressure because the particles uh, will try to move very faster as the concentration gradient is more. So this is a, a relationship plot between the concentration gradient and diffusion. On the y-axis, the rate of diffusion is shown. On the x-axis, concentration gradient is shown. As much as the concentration gradient, if we go beyond the, uh, if we go on the right side of the x-axis, the concentration gradient is increasing. It means, suppose there are 100 moles, there are 10 moles. So this is very high concentration gradient. Okay. So as far as the concentration gradient is increasing, so that the diffusion is also increasing. So this is a graph. Here come some factors about uh, the rate of diffusion or the, uh, say, simply we can say the diffusion. Okay. One factor is the temperature. More the temperature, more will be diffusion. Very simply, while increasing the temperature, the diffusion rate will also increase. Same like this. If we increase the temperature, the diffusion will also increase along with the temperature, but up to a certain limit. After a higher temperature, there will be a saturation and even the diffusion may get lower. While uh, if the molecules will denature, so the diffusion will be lower. But up to a certain limit, increasing the temperature will increase the diffusion. So they are directly proportional. Density of the diffusing medium also affects the rate of diffusion. If the particle which are diffusing, 
there are two cases the particles which are diffusing to their lower area if these particles are too denser so the diffusion will be low it means inversely proportional diffusion is inversely proportional to the density of diffusing particle the small d is the density so density of diffusing particle as well as diffusing medium if this medium in which this diffusing particles are diffusing if this medium is also dense so the rate of diffusion will be lower in both the cases so what are the two cases one are the density of the diffusing particles another is the density of diffusing medium in both the cases the density is inversely proportional so this d is inversely proportional to 1 upon 100 root d this is gram's law okay next is length of pathway the more length uh, for the diffusion less will be the diffusion or it will decrease the rate of diffusion if we spray any deodorant so the nearer person or the person present nearer to that deodorant will get more fragrance as compared to the farer person or the person present farthest because the diffusing particles are diffusing in the air near distance uh, person will uh, feel more fragrance as compared to the farthest person because it is diffusing uh, the diffusion is faster in the low distance and at the high distance the diffusion is slower so this is the reason that's why it is also inversely proportional next is the surface area more the surface area more will be the diffusion because the diffusing particles are having a valuable space to acquire that's why the surface area increases the rate of diffusion directly proportional concentration gradient this i have already discussed more the concentration gradient more will be the diffusion as much as the concentration gradient there will be more pressure or the more diffusing particles available which are willing to diffuse which have a wish to diffuse that's why it is also directly proportional so in terms of the concentration gradient as well as length there was a scientist fick they plot their law which is called fick's law this says that the j j is the dense uh, flux of diffusion or the rate of diffusion j is the rate of diffusion j is directly proportional to the change in concentration change in concentration since it is a change we will uh, denote it with the time respectively with the time so j is directly proportional to the change in concentration delta c by dt in a particular time delta c means change in the concentration the uh, initial concentration minus final concent sorry the final concentration minus initial concentration is the delta c second thing to the length of pathway the flux j the flux of density is inversely proportional to the length 1 by l so adding 1 and 2 we uh, we conclude that j is inversely proportional to the is proportional to the del c by dt into my l because l is at the base of 1 so since it is inversely proportional so concluding this is that j is directly proportional to delta c by dt into l if you remove the proportionality constant there will be a constant so constant is d d into del c divided by dt into l so proportionality sign is being removed and the constant is acquired the constant d is constant of diffusion or diffusion constant okay in case of the biological organisms like plants this l is negligible because in the plants diffusion occurring between one cell to another cell or at very nearer distance so the length is how much the length is very very negligible because a thickness of cell the thickness of the cell membrane is very very less in the angst nanometer or the angstrom that's why this length is negligible in the living factors like plants so this formula will be written as the j is equal to d the constant diffusion constant del c change in concentration divided by dt we have removed the l so this is fick's law in the plants so two laws are important gram's law as well as the fick's law so let's just proceed further so here are finally some importances of the diffusion in the plants so mainly it is meant for the exchange of gases because the gases in the plants which are very important in different metabolic reactions like photosynthesis and respiration so the exchange of gases takes place by the process of diffusion the diffusion also play important role in the absorption of water the water gets simply diffused from the soil to the roots so this is also a simple diffusion more exactly we can say the osmosis the transport of the ions or solutes different kind of the solutes from cell to cell is also by diffusion so this is also an importance the main importance is exchange of the gases gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen required during the photosynthesis and respiration respectively during the transpiration the water diffuses out of the leaves 
whenever the transpiration is occurring so these are the cells mesophyll cells and in the intercellular space of the cells water is accumulated in the first step of the transpiration after that whenever the sun reaches at the top or whenever the sun rises so due to the accumulation or the rise in the temperature this water which is accumulated inside the uh, intercellular spaces this diffuses out into the air so listen carefully this water diffuses out means this water which is which was in the liquid state now changes into the vapors or the gas by the process of diffusion so this is a diffusion important in the transpiration spreading the order of flowers as i have already discussed this to attract the pollinators there are some special chemical compounds which are diffused in the air due to which a good fragrance is generated and that attracts the pollinator so that the plant can pollinate and the next progenies or the breeding can be succeed so the uh, next importance is it distributes the solutes ions molecules evenly throughout the cell cytoplasm since it is working with the concentration gradient so until the equilibrium is not achieved the things uh, the things keep on moving if a ion is high in one cell and low in it, in the another cell so that will uh, cap the balance of both the cells by moving of that ion simply by simple diffusion into the another cell although the large size particles and the charged ions are not moved by the simple diffusion they will move by the active transport either or by the facilitated diffusion but there are a range of molecules or range of the organic compounds which are distributed by the simple diffusion so these are some importance of the diffusion in the plants otherwise diffusion is a very general phenomenon in the science having so many importance in the everyday life the some of we have already discussed so it was all about the diffusion uh, so that's all for today have a good time